So you just recently registered for an event. You've received an email from your organizer that you'll be using the Whova app for the event. It's a new and exciting experience, and we're here to help you through all the steps in attending your event on the Whova platform. Let's get started. In this user guide tutorial, we'll be going over the basic steps in signing into your event, participating in sessions, networking with other attendees, and most importantly, ensuring that you feel comfortable and excited about navigating Whova. Let's get you started out with the basics. If you're looking to watch sessions on the laptop, we got you covered with our Whova web portal, the online event page that you can access directly from your browser. However, if you're looking to find better opportunities to network and to conveniently access your event on the go and want to use our mobile app, download Whova on the App Store. Over 70% of attendees use both of our platforms, so don't worry if you feel like you're missing out. First, let's get you signed in into the Whova web portal. You've probably already received an email from your organizer with the link to the event. If you didn't receive an event link, don't panic. Simply check your spam box to see if it ended up there, or just shoot an email to your event organizer for another link. Now simply click on the link and then click Go to Web Portal, which should lead you to the Sign Up page. Here you'll get the opportunity to sign up for a Whova profile if you don't have one already. Click on Sign Up Here and enter your information. Please use the email that you used to register for the event. If you've decided to use the mobile app, let's get you signed in. Simply use the email address that you used for registering into the event. Once you've got that done, Start filling in your profile. Add things like your education, your professional background, a profile picture, and a bio. You'll most likely head straight into the event, but in the case where you don't automatically find your event, don't worry. You can simply click on the search bar and type in the name of your event. Once you've found your event, click on it, and then click on the Join button. You'll be prompted to enter the event invitation code which should have been sent by your event organizer. Once you put that in, you'll be ready to go into the event page. Okay, now that you're in the event itself, what do you do? How do you get into all the different sessions that your event has to offer? Well, go ahead and get settled in because your virtual event is merely a couple of clicks away. You'll want to use your laptop to access sessions as a bigger screen will probably make your viewing experience more enjoyable, but you can still always access the event on your mobile app. Let's now make sure that you don't miss out on watching and participating in sessions. On the home page, click on the agenda tab on the left hand side of the screen. Now see how to browse all the event sessions so that you don't miss out on your big day. On the web portal, Scroll through the different sessions that your event organizers have planned for you. If you're really excited about the event, or if you're just really busy, you can always plan out your schedule by scrolling through the different days and building a personal agenda by clicking Add to my agenda on sessions scheduled for a later time. But for sessions that are happening right now, simply click on them. The content should start playing immediately. Once you're in the session, you'll have the opportunity to engage further with your fellow attendees or with the speakers. Use the chat function to talk to other attendees in the session or use the Q&A button to ask a question of your own. You can also start by upvoting existing ones. If you're on the go and want a more mobile experience, you can still access all of these features on our mobile app as well. First, click on the Agenda tab. Next. Scroll through the sessions and then click on the one that you're interested in joining. You'll then get the chance to further participate in the session, comment on it, and add it to your agenda. In addition, you can go ahead and directly view sessions on the mobile app. Click either the live stream or recorded video in order to access the session content. If your phone screen is too small, you can try out the mobile app on the tablet. Okay, now that you've had your fill of virtual sessions, you should take some time to explore all the other features of your event on Whova. Your experience shouldn't just be about running from session to session and listening to hours upon end of virtual content. Instead, 
you can also take your time to network and socialize with attendees while also enjoying the event community. Click on the Attendees button on the bottom of your screen. You can scroll through the list of people attending the event or filter by using keywords such as title or company affiliation. You can also check out the Recommended tab for people that you might be interested in further connecting with. If you're not yet the social butterfly that you want to be, thankfully, we make it easy to reach out with just a few clicks. You can either say hi with just a single push of a button or start a private chat with them. Whova also has spaces for people to convene in a more social manner. On the bottom of your screen, simply click on the Community tab. There you'll find important meeting announcements, virtual meetups, or anything else the community has in mind at that moment. You'll want to make sure that you don't miss out on this lively social feature of Whova. In the community board, select the topic that you're interested in joining. There, you can start chatting with other attendees in the discussion space. You can also make a new one if you want. Simply click Add a Topic or Social Group at the bottom of the page. Finally, in addition to discussions, you can also join or organize meetups and virtual meets. Simply click on the Meetup and Virtual Meets tab on the community board to join virtual lunch breaks, game nights, and more. Find a meetup you're interested in and tap Join or RSVP depending on when the event is happening. If you're feeling particularly social, create your own meetup. Simply click Suggest a Meetup to create your own meetup. If you're glued to your computer and would rather access these features on your laptop, follow these simple instructions. It's not any different from using Whova to network on your phone. On the web portal, click Community on the left-hand side of the screen. Click on the topic you're interested in and join in the discussion. Alternatively, you can also create your own topic by clicking Add a Topic at the top of the page. If you feel like you're missing out, join the meetups happening in your event. Click on the Meetup and Virtual Meets tab in the community board to join a meetup. You can also create a meetup of your own by clicking Suggest a Meetup. We'll now take this time to go over some frequently asked questions. The first one we have is, how do I choose which notifications to receive? Throughout the event, you'll get various event notifications such as community and agenda updates. We'll show you how to update these settings. First, click on your profile on the top left corner of the screen. Then click Settings. After that, you'll find a button labeled Notification Settings. Clicking that will lead you to this page where you'll be able to change your notification settings. Or you can go to the community board and click the three dots at the top right hand corner of the screen. There you'll get the chance to update your notification settings. We recommend keeping the majority of your updates on, but you can always go in and update according to your preferences. Next, we have the question on how to find the event invitation code. If you can't find it in your normal inbox, try checking your spam. And if it's not there, ask your event organizer to resend you the code. Finally, we'll be going over how to reset your password. If you aren't signed into your app, go to the sign in page and first enter your email. Then click Forgot Password. After that, you'll be prompted to enter a confirmation code from your email. After you put that in, you'll be able to reset your password. Additionally, if you're already logged in, you can click on your profile and then click Settings. At the bottom of your screen, there should be a button labeled Password. Click on that and then update your password. That's it for the FAQs. If you want to learn more about using Whova as a speaker, exhibitor, or sponsor, you can check out these following guides. Thanks for tuning in to our user guide. We hope you learned how to best make use of our app at your next event and hopefully you got excited by all the different things that your event has to offer.